Hello and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Wednesdays. Uh, my name is Dave Apte. I am a solutions architect here at Cadence working with the Stratus HLS product line. So today's topic is how do I find the best low power architecture for my design? And why do I want to do that? Well, it's actually extremely important if you are aiming for a low power design. So studies have shown that how much power optimization or improvement in power consumption can you expect by various design phases? So if you're already in the layout phase, uh, you can expect uh, less than 10% improvement by doing uh, things to the, uh, to the net list. If you're in the RTL synthesis phase, you can expect about 20% uh, improvement by doing things like clock gating, et cetera. But if you're uh, in the architectural phase, the choices that you make in this phase affect the power by up to 80%. So if you make a wrong choice of architecture in your design, you're, you might miss your target by a huge margin, and it might be extremely difficult to get back to your target. And this is a problem in the traditional handwritten RTL flows, because the architecture is decided very early, and it's more or less a guess as to whether it's the best one for your application. So is there a different way to do this? Is there a better way that gives me a quantitative uh, answer to which is my best architecture, instead of just a guess. So what I would like to do is uh, create, uh, test some architecture, take it down all the way to RTL, measure its area and power, and uh, find the best one. And the ideal uh, uh, product to do that is with Stratus HLS. So Stratus HLS is the high-level synthesis product that uh, is integrated with Genus, and Jules. Genus is the logic synthesis solution from Cadence, and Jules is the power measurement solution from Cadence. So the way this flow would work is you take your system C design and use the Stratus HLS environment along with the Genus and Jules integrations to create multiple different architectures for your design. And, and then measure the power, performance, and area of each one and find the best solution. And the reason this flow works very well is because of the power of high-level synthesis. You can very, very easily go from your C++ and System C design to different RTL implementations that are optimized for the given technology library and the given clock period and measure their actual power uh, and area and timing and other performance metrics to find the best solution. Without this flow, you are going to be uh, stuck with some architecture that you chose at the beginning, and that's going to be maybe difficult to find your targets. So I hope uh, you check out uh, Stratus HLS. Uh, give us a call. We'll be very happy to come and talk to you about how this flow works. Uh, and thank you for watching.